G'day and welcome back to RC Model Reviews. I've got another mini quad in here. I bet you, I bet you can't guess what what I bet you can't guess what it is. Well, actually, if you looked at the stickers, you'd probably be wrong because it's not a Bolt 250. It's been sent in for review and it just oozes. It's like sex on a stick. This thing, honestly, um, you know, I've got the Victory 230 and a whole lot of other quads sitting here waiting for flight reviews. But when I opened the box and I saw this, man, oh, ooh, I nearly lost control. This is such a sexy looking piece of kit. Let me take it out of the box for you. I've unboxed something. No, I didn't because there was heaps of other stuff in there too, which I'll be showing you later. But this is what was inside. And there's a note because it's always handy to send me notes if you're sending me stuff because I forget. Um, it is the, what is it? It is a Bolt 210. So it's not a 250, it's a 210, which means it's, it's a nice little size actually. I quite like that size. Let's compare it to the Walkera 210, just for a size comparison, as you see. Very similar, although the Walkera is a much taller and a much wider beast. This is obviously made for racing. This is going to be a real speed machine because if you look at the top, look how thin it is. Look how narrow the arms are. That's just speed. That's just built for speed. And so I'm really looking forward to getting this thing in the air and including it in the tests apart. I've got a few part twos to do, flight tests of mini quads. I'm going to try and do them all on the one day. But let's have a little bit of a closer look around this piece of sex on a stick. Okay, let's do a quick tour around this pornographically beautiful piece of mini quad. Um, obviously carbon frame, it's four millimeters thick. That's actually really thick for a, a 210 size quad. Motors are X Nova. I think that's what they say. They're an RM 2204 2300. Pretty standard fare if you're going to be racing mini quads. You want a, a qualifying motor. 2204 is, is a motor that uh, is well recognized. It's got, looks like an HS 1177 camera. And see the angle there? Yes, you do need that much angle when you're racing because these things fly damn near vertically for those who have not flown mini quads very quickly. ZTW uh, 20 amp ESCs. They're the Spider Pro. I'm really keen to see how they work out. Compare them to the uh, current sort of ESC de jour, which is probably the, uh, what is it, it's the um, little b, so but they reckon these are pretty damn good. And one little things to notice, like it's got these lovely aluminium standoffs here, but look at this, there's a little collar on the top which helps spread the stress over the carbon frame so that if you have a really bad ding, there's less risk of this actually breaking the carbon by concentrating the stress just on the head of the screw. That's a smaller bit of, a, bit of attention to detail that makes a huge difference. And if we go along, look from the side here, now notice that's quite thin from the top, but they've doubled up. We've got an extra thickness of carbon here. So in the event of a frontal impact, this is going to be really strong. We're not going to just get these standoffs ripping out of the carbon. That's, that's a nice bit of work. That's good thinking. There are some holes for lightning, of course, but not too many, which is good because some manufacturers just go totally overboard. Let's look at the arms. Yay, they didn't put holes in the arms. Excellent. And look at this. Nice smooth curves here for minimizing the um, stress rises. Beautiful curves there it all blends nicely that's very very good this will be a really tough frame i'm pretty sure now down the down the other end here we've got something just as exciting this is the new receiver from free sky it's got an s bus output and i think it might have cppm too i'm not sure um, and two antennas diversity and it's really small and really light so it's the perfect thing for mini quads yay and this is one of the first ones out there i think so i'm very lucky to have that if we go around the other side we've got it's hidden in there somewhere is an fpv transmitter Video transmitter, where is it? It's up the top here somewhere, is it? Can't see. Yeah, here we go. Hidden up in the top there's the FPV transmitter with an extension lead out to the SMA on the back there. So that's all very nice. Um, on this side, we've got a switching voltage regulator and UBEC, that's the D-Sun. They put an extra cap on here to reduce the noise, which is a good move. Good move indeed. Um, the flight controller is a, what is it? It's a NAS32 revision 6, which is good. Uh, 6B, is it? I hope it's a 6B. Let's have a look. Um, yes, it's a 6B, so it's not a buggy one. Um, yeah, what else can I say? I mean, this is sex on a stick. It really is. This oozes sex appeal. I'm getting all excited just looking at the damn thing. So the next step is to throw it into the air and make it fly. Now, I think this is going to go straight to the front of the flight test queue because <laughs> it's so nice. I'm expecting big things from this. Just looking at it, it looks like we've got someone who's just about got everything right. You know, everything seems to be, I can't really find any fault with this at the moment. So I'm really looking forward to getting it in the air and giving it a good old throw around. I've got a few others to do as well. I've got the QR200 from Quadrasteria. I've got the Victory 230. Um, yeah, there's a bunch of, I've got the ones from X Hybro. They actually sent me the Element 5 and the new MXP, I think it's 200 racing quad. So I've got so many mini quads to test fly. Problem is, of course, I don't have an observer. You saw one of my, saw my Tundra review part one. I'm sitting out here at an airfield. There is no aircraft here been here all day. Haven't been aircraft in here for days. 
It's dead as a doornail, you know, there's nothing happening. But I can't even fly a mini quad two meters above the ground because the regulations state that if you're flying FPV, no matter where, even if you're not at an airfield, it doesn't matter, you can be in the middle of a forest, if you're flying FPV, you've got to have a spotter. And those are the rules, I can't change them. And unfortunately, because of my situation, I am bound to adhere to the rules. I've got to set an example. I'm the guy that's supposed to be telling people how all this stuff works and, and promoting the hobby. I can't be seen to be going out there and breaking the rules willy-nilly just because it suits me. So, unlike some people who might be able to get away with a quick fly out in the, in the boonies somewhere without a spotter, I can't. So I'm quite hogtied, quite constrained. So there you go. It's really making my life difficult. Now that I can fly again, I still can't fly because I don't have any damn observers and I can't afford to hire someone for, you know, day after day. There's no money, not enough money in YouTube to do that. So I just have to rely on the goodwill of friends and family. And unfortunately, um, everybody's busy. Damn it. Never mind. There you go. So Sex on a Stick from Bolt. Uh, their website's www.boltrc.com. They're based in Western Australia, which is quite interesting because it's you know, most of this mini quad stuff's coming out of China and the USA, and this is an Australian product. And wow, the Aussies, they seem to be making big inroads into mini quad racing. And I know Chad Nowick, Final Glide, he won the US champs. And looking at this piece of carbon here, <laughs> I think they're doing damn good things in terms of mini quad design as well. But this will all be borne out in the flight test, so stay tuned. All those flight tests are coming up as soon as I get someone to look over my shoulder for me. Okay, you got questions, comments, put them in the space provided by YouTube. Thank you for watching. It's time for me now to clear this away and do some more reviews by getting back to the bench. Bye for now.